This is lesson number three, logarithms, section 5.4. We are looking today at logarithmic equations, um, and in order to understand those, it's going to be helpful to know that logarithmic equations and exponential equations are inverses. So if you look at this graph down here, this right here is an exponential equation um, in blue, and we will say that that is y equals 10 to the power of x, okay? The inverse of that is what we call the logarithmic equation, and you can see it's reflected across the line y equals x. And the logarithmic equation for that is in the form y equals log base 10 of x, or since 10 is the common base, log base 10 is the common log, so we just say log of x. So that brings us, that gives us one of our exponential equations that have a special base y equals 10 to the x, and then the other one is y equals e to the x. And you can see over here in the table, f of x equals 10 to the x, the logarithmic version of that is log of x, and then f of x e to the x, the logarithmic inverse of that is what we call ln of x also called the natural logarithm. So the natural logarithm of x is the log of x with base e, and we write that logarithm as natural log of x. Now, some important things um, to remember about these, um, domain and range of our exponential functions, and then basically how that translates over to logarithmic functions. So if you remember, a function's inverse is basically just its x and y values switch, so the domain and range just switch. So the, the domain of a logarithmic function is all positive real numbers. We can plug in any positive number, and the range is all real numbers. And you can see that here, right? We'll get out any positive or negative y value here. Um, and then the... Um, all we're going to be able to put in, though, is positive x values. All right, so exponential form versus logarithmic form. So if this is our exponential form, b to the x equals a, the logarithmic form is log base b of a equals x. So um, for example, let's just look here at this first example, write an exponential form. When you're in logarithmic form, I like to call it Miyagi, like Mr. Miyagi from Karate Kid. Wax on, wax off. So 3 to the second power, you start at the base. The base is down here, 3. So 3 squared equals 9. All right, then over here, 6 to the third power should equal 216. And then this one is saying x to the z equals y. So that's how we convert from logarithmic form to exponential form. We can also convert back the other way. So write each of these statements in logarithmic form. So if you notice, the base goes down here as the subscript in the log. So this is going to become log base 5 of a, so of your answer here. So of 125 equals the power, 3. We use logarithms to solve for power. So your logarithmic statement should be equal to the power that you have, the exponent. And you can see here, 5 to the third equals 125. If you were to undo it, then you would get that out. 2 to the fifth equals 32. So log base 2 of 32 equals 5. 2 to the fifth power equals 32. This third example, log base a of c equals b. a to the power of b equals c. So you can always check those 
um, once you get them written to make sure you would get the same exponential equation out. All right, there are some important logarithms and that we should be able to evaluate without a calculator. Um, just be able to do them quick in our heads. And in order to do that, we have to understand how we might get it into exponential form. Because looking at an exponential form might help us see what that value would be. So logarithms are used to solve for exponents. So this log base 10 of 100, we're going to say then is equal to a certain power that we want. Let's call it x. Okay. So we're saying that 10 to what power? 10 to the power of x equals 100. Well, 10 squared is 100. So this logarithm is equal to 2. So log base 10 of 100 is 2. Over here, 2 to what power equals 8? That would be the third power. 2 to the third power is 8. So log base 2 of 8 equals 3. Same thing here. 8 to what power equals 1? 8 to the x equals 1. Well, we have to remember, okay, what power is it if it's equal to 1? 0. Anything to the 0 power is 1. So log base 8 of 1 is equal to 0. Number 4, 49 to what power equals, whoops, 7. So 49 to what power equals 7? Well, okay, how are we using exponents and getting a smaller number? Well, you know the square root of 49 is 7, right? Or 7 squared is 49. What kind of powers do we use for radicals? We use fractional. So 49 to the power of 1 half equals 7. So that log is equal to 1 half. All right, 2 to what power equals 1 fourth? 2 to what power equals 1 fourth? Well, now how are we getting fractions? Remember, exponents can be negative. So if, I know 2 squared is, a po is 4, right? So 2 to what power would be 1 fourth? Well, 2 to the negative 2 is like 1 over 2 squared, which is 1 fourth. Fourth. So here our power is negative 2. So x equals negative 2 in this case. And then number 6, 9 to what power equals 9? 9 to what power equals 9? Well, 9 is just 9, so the first power, x equals 1. So I like to get my logarithm set equal to a variable so I can examine it in exponential form and that kind of helps me see what um, the value should be because then I can see, oh yeah, I'm just solving for the power and these were all pretty common ones. Our next set of problems here are special kinds of logarithms. One important thing to remember is, remember, 10 to a power and log base, if it looks like nothing, it's the common log, so log base 10, they're inverses. E to the power of something and natural log, ln, are inverses of each other. So let's just do a, these couple the long way here. So if I set these both equal to x, right? If there's no base there, we're assuming it's a base 10. So 10 to the x equals 10 to the 1.34. 10 to the x equals 10 to the 1.34, like that. Well, basically they have the same base, so then they should have the same power. So x equals 1.34. So the answer to this one is 1.34. All right, next with our natural log here, we have, if it's a natural log, you're assuming your base is e, right? So e to the x equals e to the fourth. Well, we have the same base here, so then our powers have to be the same. So that answer is 4. So take a pause here and look at these now. What did you notice about the base compared with your exponential expression 
that was in here. And the fact that these are inverses, how did that play into what your answer would actually be? And see if you can, in your head, think of number three and four, what those answers might be. So on number three, if we look at this one, since this is log base 10 of 10 to a power, well, since we're just trying to solve for the power and base 10, log base 10 is the inverse of 10 to a power, essentially the log is canceling out the base 10. So our answer here is just negative 82. All right, same idea here in number four, right? If we have a base of E raised to its inverse natural log, we're essentially canceling those out. So our answer here would just be nine. So remember E and natural log are inverses. Base 10 and 10 to the X are, or like the common log and the 10 to the X are inverses. So if you come across expressions or equations like these, you can kind of know that they cancel each other out. All right, we can also use calculators to solve these logarithmic equations. Um, so in order to do this, um, it might be helpful if you have it in exponential form and it's not like 10 to the X equals 1000 or 10,000 or a million or a hundred or something like that where you can just count the zeros basically. It's kind of a weird number here. What you're gonna wanna do is get it into log form. So log, base 10 of 332 equals x. So basically what you're doing is putting it into log form. You could also think of this in terms of solving equations. Think of it as um, like taking the log of both sides, right? The log of 10 to the x equals the log of 332 and what we just did up in these examples right the log of 10 to the x the log and the base 10 cancel each other out so we get x equals log of 332. so then on your calculator you can just type in log 332 because the common log is already programmed into your calculator that button is going to be right next to the number seven if you have a ti 83 84 84 plus any of those um, it's right next to the seven, just to the left of the seven. So we're doing log of 332, and it says round to the nearest thousandths place. So this power X is, I got 2.521. So 10 to the power of 2.521 equals 332. And you can check it, 10 to the 2.521 equals about 332. All right. Now, if we're starting in logarithmic form, it might be just as simple as putting it into exponential form. 10 to the 2.35 equals x. All right, so then we can just type that into our calculator. 10 to the 2.35 and round it to the nearest thousandth, 223.8 thousandth, sorry, 87 two all right now if we have a base e remember the inverse of base e is natural log so think of this as taking the natural log of both sides so the natural log of e to the x equals natural log of 1.5 Remember, natural log and E are inverses, so we're left with X equals natural log of 1.5. And then from there, you can also do natural log on your calculator. The natural log button is right below the log, the common log button. So we just type in natural log 1.5 and you will get 0 0.405. Again, we're rounding to the thousandths to be as exact as we can. All right, next thing we can do is take a natural logarithmic equation and solve it. So this one, remember natural log is a base E. So this is like saying E to the power of five equals 
x. All right, now we do have an e to the power button on our calculator. If you look where your natural log is, it's the um, shift option. So if you hit second natural log, you will get e. So e to the 5 is 148.413. All right, now while we can use calculators, things like log of 100 or log of 1 over 1000 are going to be helpful to be able to evaluate in your head. So you're going to want to know your base 10 numbers. You're going to want to know, like, for example, what 10 to the negative 3 is, what 10 to the negative 2 is, what 10 to the negative 1 is, um, what 10 squared is, what 10 cubed is. Because this log base 100 is asking you to find what's the power of 10 to get 100. Well, 2, because 10 squared is 100. And then here, log of 1 over 1,000, well, I know 10 to the third is 1,000. But if it's a fraction, it's going to be 10 to the negative third. Okay, so this one is equal to negative 3. And this one is equal to 2. So it's going to be helpful to understand and know your uh, base 10 numbers.